Well, that's uh, Subramaniam Swami as usual. Mr. Controversy lands himself straight in the middle of another one when he probably did not expect it to be the case. Subramaniam Swami is taking on T. Shiva of the DMK, member of parliament in the Rajya Sabha and Dr. Naganathan, founder of youth.org. He has been a long time Subramaniam Swami beta. Now what really, Mr. Naganathan, I think, I think, you know, if you are really going to speak for the Tamil people, then you should thank Subramaniam Swami on television tonight. You should congratulate him. He says at least he should be congratulated for his efforts in bringing back Indian fishermen. Is that not doing something that Narendra Modi said he would do in the run-up to the elections? Are you jealous of him? Arnav, at what? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, see, Subramanya Swami is known for this type of populistic politics. When one type of wave is one side, Subramanya Swami will take an opposite side. His negativity is his strong point to erupt to controversies. Regarding this fisherman issue, three things have to be very clear. Indian fishermen has traditional fishing rights over Sri Lanka's integral territory because it's based on Kachatiba. See, Kachatiba was given to Sri Lanka without parliament ratification. That's why the Supreme Court of India in Berbari case clearly gave that without any constitutional authority, we uh, can't don't you any know, first, right on to top, nation. Right on top, Subramaniam Swami goes to Sri Lanka, right? He goes and meets the president of Sri Lanka and he negotiates okay. the release of, release of fishermen. And His he gets an assurance. Has failed. No, in no. August, no, so no, he, no, in August month, in August month, Subramaniam, no, in August month, Subramaniam Swami asked for permit rights for three years. He was denied. Sri Lankan government denied that. We should ask Subramanian Swami on that. He, you asked permission for permit for three years. It was denied by the Sri Lankan government. No. You should speak up on that. No. What is the action today? Today, while well, I'm, I'm going to let Subramanian Swami listen to a few others. Mr. Siva, you want Subramanian Swami to be put in jail now? For getting fishermen out? <laughs> you have said today when you no, spoke to our channel, I want action against Subramanian Swami. No, no, I said the BJP government should advise his party member. Hello. Yeah, I can Hello. hear you, Mr. Siva. So can he. Even Swami can hear you. Please tell me. I can hear you. Tell me, please. No, my question is why do you uh, want action me? against Subramaniam Swami? See, in what capacity he has advised the government of Sri Lanka and not to release the boats and to release the fishermen? First question. And whatever be his comments with regard to the release of the fishing boats is totally unfair, illogical and inhuman. I think uh, no person will speak against the people of his own country and so also there is no logical stand in his arguing that the fishing boats should not be released and third it is totally inhuman to speak against a section of the people whose livelihood is only fishing and they know not any other So you are saying people's and lives are not important, boats are? You are saying that people, people, what? people's lives are not important, but boats are more important. But what? You are saying people's lives, fishermen's lives are not important. Fishermen are but not important. The boats are more important. No, 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 no. See, along, see, as long as the UPA government was there, Mr. Goswami, as long as the UPA government was there, the fishermen were also released and the boats were also released. But only recently, off late. Only the fishermen are released and the boats are not released. And without that, they cannot have their livelihood. Mm. So, in that, what uh, is the reason or what logic is in uh, arguing that the fishing, fishermen only should be released and not the boats? Why did you do this, it's Mr. Totally Swami? It's totally unfair. No, so why did you How do can this, Mr. Swami? One person antagonize? No, let now, okay, fine. Will you, let's hear him and then you can respond. Why did you do this, Mr. Swami? Why did you go and tell the Sri Lankans not to release the boats of the Indian fishermen? Please explain yourself. Well, first of all, uh, the DMK is naturally concerned because they are one of their prominent members, Mr. Balu, owns a lot of these boats. And uh, therefore, uh, he, he is particularly insistent that somehow the boats should be released by the Sri Lankan government. The fact of the matter is that uh, the uh, Fisherman Association in uh, Rameshwaram gave me a petition 
saying that uh, none of these uh, DMK and ADMK parties are doing anything. Uh, you, you know the Sri Lankan uh, president. Can you do something for us? Because our families are all being very affected. So I raised this with the Sri Lankan uh, president. And the Sri Lankan president, after hearing me, uh, asked him that, you know, these are fishermen are employees in a sense. And why should you, uh, you know, put them through all this uh, tribulation? He said, well, in that case, I'm ready to release them, but I will not release the boats. Because these boats are mechanized boats and they have already ruined India, uh, wiping out uh, the entire fishing population. And now they want to come to our... But uh, you see, these Tamil territory parties territory don't waters. trust you. And these Tamil parties say they don't trust you anymore. You I know how serious that charge is. Mr. Naganathan, what is the basic issue? First do you not trust Mr. Swami? First of all... Mr. Swami? First of all no, do you not trust Mr. Mr. Swami? One second. If, 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 no, if, 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 if Subramanian Swami is so much concerned about the Indian fishermen, let him go and talk to Raja Pakshay for the retrieval of Kachatheeva. Let, let us get back Kachatheeva. Let Subramanian Swami do this for us. So that all the Indian fishermen will be loyal to them for their lifetime he, he and restore not, the uh, fishing rights of the Indian because fishermen. For Raja let let him do that. Let him do that one particular well, move. All, retrieval of Kachiti well, given without any parliament ratification. Well, Since he's a Supreme Court lawyer, he should understand no foreign territory should be succeeded to the any foreign nation without parliament uh, ratification. You, you, I, did that I hear you? Was no, done did, like did, that. I, no, no, did you say there, Mr. Siva, that he is actually? Batting for the Sri Lankan government? Are you saying that Subramaniam yeah, Swami is more loyal to the Sri Lankan yeah, government yeah, than his own government? Yes, Did I hear you say that? No, actually, actually, yes, actually, no, one minute. Actually, yes, one minute. No, we have a doubtful yes, whether, we have, actually, we are doubtful whether, whether Subramaniam Swami belongs to and citizens of Sri Lanka. Yes, Mr. Siva. Mr. Goswami. First of all, I want to refute his statement. It's a baseless allegation that we are uh, voicing for the fishermen because the fishing boats belong to Mr. Balu. That's a very baseless allegation which he always makes whenever he speaks about any subject. That is not the issue. See, even his own BJP party has disowned his statement that it is not an official statement. So, uh, so, so, so long as far as the Sri Lankan issue is concerned, Mr. Dr. Swami has always been arguing in favor of Raja Bakshe and I would like to ask one question. In what capacity he has gone and met with Raja Bakshe and he has uh, voiced for the release answer of the that, fishermen Mr. Swami. and not to release the fishing boats? Answer in, that. Answer Mr. In what Siva. capacity? Answer Mr. Siva. Go ahead. Yeah, he has to tell that in what capacity all, he said that. Let me now the one that is on the BJP no, government, one of his party men goes and says something against what the government is telling the public. The people of Tamil Nadu are hoping that the government of India would help them, rather the fishermen in Rameshwaram and across the seashore of Tamil Nadu. Mr. Swami! They, they still hope that the government of India would help them from the, uh, uh, from Mr. the Swami, of the Sri Lankan Mr. Navy. Mr. Swami, I'd like to say to you... One, no, one, one of the members. No, no, one second. Mr. Swami... Yeah, Mr. First, you beg, first, you stop him from talking. You are not able to control this debate. No, Mr. Swami, I am perfectly capable of controlling the debate. No, my question to you is, Mr. Swami, I'd like then to bring to your it. attention. Then do it. I'd, I'd like to bring to your attention, we are live tweeting on the debate. And people are tweeting with the hashtag Swami on the news. Are, I'm surprised today you've been called anti-national. You've been accused of trading, you know, your own, you know, position for, for squaring off narrow, small, petty political issues. You are being questioned on what basis you were negotiating with the Sri Lankan government and you are not even answering once. Mr. Swami, have these two gentlemen, Mr. Okay, Naganathan and Mr. Siva, you don't put you on the back foot. You please control. You are, now, don't be, don't be stupid. You are not letting me answer and you are going to say you are not even answering. The moment I answer, they start talking and you go off. Please well, very often you do respond. Go ahead, sir. First of all, all right, now you ask me a question. Yeah, let me answer. First of all, the DMK has a long history of secession and they are talking uh, about being anti-national. I can't take notice of it. There is nobody else who is calling me anti-national. Number two, the newspapers like the uh, Indian Express has quoted the Indian fishermen as saying that it is Mr. Balu who forces them to go across into Sri Lankan waters to fish because you get better fish there. So therefore, the issue is that these fishermen are being exploited by the DMK. 
and they are sir they did are, the government to export sir, who were you no 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 mr siva asks you who were you they negotiating on behalf of he is challenging how can, you how can 1% influence I, uh, 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 yeah, listen don't uh, don't uh, talk like a schoolboy as he's challenging me and all that well he is challenging you sir that is nothing like answer. a schoolboy on that oh uh, yeah all right i can i can a damn for whether he challenges me or these people have a long history of anti nationalism they wanted the british to stay in india what is their background oh, so on. don't tell me about na what? nationalism as far as they are concerned come on you did you are sir you, you are psycho fans you are students of the party. british on the 15th of august on the 15th of august you were at the governor's you, palace begging the british yeah, the i don't then why are you here why are you here in the why are you here in a debate mr sami or if there is no calibration don't waste the basic your time you get out you are replying to my question yeah all right you, you are diverting the issue you are students of the british maintain, maintain so don't talk about other people's Sami. nationalism you are a supreme court lawyer now maintain the yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, basic yeah, basic parliamentary language you are nobody you are not anchoring you are not anchoring here students <laughs> of the british are right parliamentary you are losing your temper you don't know parliament now now i don't know where i don't know from where, where where you have come from but the fact is that <laughs> the fisherman did give me a petition what is laughing away you are laughing like a silly person oh come on i got this petition i gave it to the president sorry. come on now again you are interrupting listen i don't have to participate in this debate if they go on interrupting <laughs> So Sorry, they don't count for anything. No they are anti-national. They are uh, for the LTT. They have already been beaten black and blue by the Sri Lankans, and that's why they are against them. See, come on, first of all, explain. Where the LTT made come from? What's the reason behind the comments now? on the release of the fishing boats? And in what capacity you have gone and spoken with uh, Mr. Rajapaksa? Kindly tell that. We are going back. We can also go back, but the debate now is. in what capacity then, you then, want then, sri lanka and then just keep the discussion then, with the president of raj uh, the sri lanka have you finished you go on talking 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 do you want to ask a question i'll answer it but you have to ask a question and please, then keep quiet learn some manners i say uh, come on mind your words mr so Swami. now uh, now i will not mind your my words You are going on interrupting me. All right, gentlemen, so stay on the subject. Stay manage. on the subject. Stay on the subject. Question asked many times. So In what capacity now, did you now, negotiate? Now, now, may I now? Uh, will you please control them so that I can answer? They will question? be quiet. We are all listening. First, I got. All right, good. Now I got a petition from the Fishermen Association. I had gone to Sri Lanka to address a meeting there, and the president then invited me for to his residence for discussion. At that time, I told him that this is the petition I have, and what you are going to do about it. And as a consequence, a large number of fishermen, in fact, almost all all the fishermen were released, and it was a great relief. Now, these are people who cannot ask me this question: Who are you? Who are you negotiating with? You are not the government of India. The yeah, government of India is the one that gave me uh, facilitation. The ambassador received me in 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 Colombo and accompanied me. What are you talking about? You don't know anything about diplomacy. You are all bunch of rowdies. Bunch of rowdies. On. Subramaniam my, Swami. My, my, one second. Uh, on the Bono debate. Me, one second, Mr. Swami. Now, now, Mr. Swami. Now, Mr. Swami. Now, Mr. Swami. Who's now, Mr. Swami? Who's getting personal? Who's getting personal? You call them a bunch of rowdies. They are nothing. Are you doing no, no, this this is this is now personal. personal it's a decor engaged in violence no no mr mr they engaged in violence control no no i i request they have a history no. they even come on no, or they, no, they no, have no, a history no, they even like be, you should take they even attack me this indira gandhi no, in the madurai no, no, railway no, station speak in public one second i now i now second i think the whole of tamil nadu people are talking like this on a television media addressing all those who are you can't are talk about Tamil, Tamil Nadu people Russia. you have been discredited no, in the 2d spectrum in the letter Swami, you lost the bloody the election word. come on arla mr naganathan now you are you are totally last what are you talking about last politics 
I you are not even Tamil. You are all Telugu. The one at this. Oh, Mr. 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 No, no. One second. One second. Mr. Mr. With that gone. Mr. Mr. What will happen? No, Mr. Swami. No, Mr. Swami. Who's? No, no. One second. Mr. Swami. Who's not maintaining the decorum? You know. One second. One. No. You said. Now the words which you have used now, you have used now, will will bring unnecessary problems here. No, no. You call them a bunch. What problem? There you are. Now he is talking like a rowdy. Come on. Now he is talking like a rowdy. This is not necessary problem. What unnecessary problem? You have been using violence all along. You call yourself a Harvard professor. Mr. Swami, Mr. Swami, I would like to point out to you. I would like to point out to you. I would like to point out to you the number of instances Mr. Modi has raised the plight of India's fishermen and most crucially the threat to their livelihoods when they have been either killed or arrested. Now, Mr. Swami, please hear me for a minute. Whether these boats are owned by X or Y, as you allege, they are part of fishermen's livelihoods. So what are these people saying? They are saying if you are going and negotiating, A, they are asking on whose behalf you are negotiating. B, they are saying you should have negotiated that the boats also be returned. They are saying that you used you used the opportunity to square <laughs> off your political hatred, that you hate Jayalalitha and you hate Karunanidhi and you are using the, your position today to settle your political scores. Now, Mr. Swami, you can call them rowdies. You can say they are not even Tamils. You can call them anti-national, but please answer my question. And by the way, we are tweeting live on the subject. Swami on the news, uh, Mr. Swami, please respond. The question is of their livelihood. The question is that the fishermen only wanted me to ensure that their people are released. Uh. No one talked to me about the boats. None of the boat owners spoke to me about it. So I had to only represent the fishermen. And I didn't say don't give the boats. It is Mr. Rajapaksha who said... Will you hear Mr. Naganathan's response? I said, all right, that is another matter. Counter from Mr. Naganathan, please, of youth.org. Yes, Mr. Naganathan. He wants to re respond to you. I, I want to ask Supra Samai, what, what fishermen association, kindly name the fishermen association who came to you, who gave this petition to you. What is the anonymous petition? The question is very clear. Why don't you ask the retrieval of Kachitivu? Why are you not asking about retrieval of Kachitivu to give a permanent solution to the fishermen? As far as the petition is concerned, I'll have to go to the, my records to see who did it. And you, you do, don't tell me there is only one association. There are many associations. And, <laughs> Name them, and, please. Uh, therefore, Name them, please. And as far as Kachati was... Uh, wait, come on now, don't interrupt. This is why I call you a rowdy. Now, uh, come on, what I'm man. saying you is... You should get a psychiatrist that, uh, opinion. You can't use a temper. Come on. Come on now, again you are again you're interrupting. The government of India, the, addition, the solicitor, the attorney general has filed an affidavit in the High Court of Madras saying there is no question of taking Achitivu back. That is the government of India's position. You go and quarrel with the government of India. Don't ask me about Kachitivu. Subramaniam Swami. Karna Nidhi who gave Kachitivu to uh, Sri Lanka. Do you know that? You don't know any history. That's the problem. See, we have, we have also filed a case. We have been yeah. insisting repeatedly. See, don't uh, skip the issue. But it was Mr. Karuna Nidhi who gave permission uh, no, to Indra no, Gandhi no, to get it. We have to retrieve Kanchetivu. Even now, we have been voicing for that. Oh, we, retrieve? See, see, Why did you agree to give it in the first place? Without, without the Why did you agree to give it in the first place? In 1974, you, you gave Indra Gandhi permission. You gave your okay to give Kanchetivu to Sri Lanka. The, the yeah, you did, uh, you did this. this. It, it was, was an considered. anti national act on your so part. That was our stand. How can you say that? We were not a You party said for it the, in 1974. I can produce a record. This is Mr. Karuna Nidhi's concurrence. This is Indra Gandhi. But we, 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 we are not for conceding. Conceding Kachetivu to Sri Lanka. And we have been you watching You gave Kachetivu to Sri Lanka. No, we have passed a resolution in the assembly and we have uh, insisted the central government not to concede when? the initiative. When? The you didn't file it. it. You didn't pass it in 1974. Mr. The Swami, did, did the government of in India... No, no, Mr. Swami. Mr. Swami, the question is very serious. One second. Three minutes on the debate and our viewers will judge whether you win or lose the debate. 
Mr. Swami, my question to you is this. Did the government of India brief you or tell you that when you go to Sri Lanka, ensure that the ships don't come back? Or did you take the decision yourself? I what? never... No, no, therefore... What a, what a, that's a foolish, what's foolish, foolish question. What, what's foolish about the question? I'll you, tell you why it's foolish. How, what's foolish about the question? I never asked him. I never... I'll tell you what is foolish. You're going on and on about it. I said that Mr. Rajapaksha said I will not give the uh, boats back. So and I, I said I have come for the fishermen. As far as boats are concerned, I'm not concerned with it. Why did you, you not give it? Why did you not say say we want the boats back? Were you not concerned about the livelihood of this of the fishermen? Because were because you swearing the owners, because, because of Mr. the owners, Swami. because of the owners. Because of the owners of the boats were exploiting the fishermen. And the who are the owners of the boats? Statements. It has appeared in the Indian Express. And who are the owners it of the boats? You, you should take some trouble And who are the owners it, of the boats, Ms. Dr. Why Swami? Why don't you do some reading? Why don't you show me some research? Who are the owners of the boats? Do you want me to show it on this or you I have want you to tell me or I want you to take back the, the allegations. Owners. Who are the owners? I am telling you who are the Mr. T. R. Balu is an owner of the boats. Let him deny it. Show me the papers. <laughs> how many boats is one? How many boats are reporting? Oh, show in me the, the papers. Uh, our fish, how Indian many fish times you have been wrong on time now? I have been wrong not once, Mr. Uh, yeah. Swami. And, and who else is the owner yeah, yeah. of the boats? Yeah, yeah. Are and and who are the owners Rabesh. of the boats? Mr. Balus. No, who are the owners of the boats? You also say that. I told Shashikara. you Mr. Balu owns the uh, uh, you say uh, yes, she also owns the boat. He's not the only person who owns and, all and the boat. And you have a problem with Shashikala because she's... Boats are not, uh, you she, you have a problem with Shashikala? What is your problem with Shashikala? You... Yeah, yeah, you don't have to uh, psychoanalyze. You're an you're a amateur. You don't know. This is not it's a question of national interest. That sir, we are when I about. ask you a not probing these, question, people who are secessionists, sir, I read. I, I read. Been I can. And you know. Jail. You know. I'll tell you this, Doctor Swami. You know, I'll tell you this, Doctor Swami. Each of your intemperate insults is water off a duck's back for me. But yeah, I will. But I will. Good. But I will because say this. You, but you, I will say this. Your insults are what? I am telling you, you are an opinionated person Thank you. doesn't let anybody else talk. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's all right. Now, Mike, I'm not, I never and look for is, a compliment from Twitter, a politician. Twitter will, tw and the, I'm asking you. I, and the Twitter will the, confirm it. I, 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 I am looking at your letter, right? And you write in this letter to, to Narendra Modi, Mr. Modi, I write this letter to you, etc., etc. I think it is dated today. And you say, my success vis-a-vis -vis the fisherman has rattled Ms. Jayalalita, who has made it a business of the plight of fishermen by doing nothing about it, but only writing letters to you, etc., etc. Now, aren't you the same person who organized a historic tea party between Jayalalita and Sonia Gandhi? Just your relationship went sour. And you are you're fighting out your political rivalries in public, Mr. Swami. And as a result of it, who loses? What is this got to do with? What, what is, is this, this got to do with? Uh, don't you have a rivalry with Jayalalita? What is this got? You want don't to you have a rivalry with Jayalalita? Don't what you have about, a, what about what about what about the DMK aligning with Sonia Gandhi after she called them the killers of uh, Rajiv Gandhi, and brought down the uh, 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 so the, you can see the government. So you can see everything you do has to do with domestic politics. We have, we have, ne we have never, we there have never. not got anything to do with domestic like politics. Don't, don't, don't I went and got fishermen relief. We have, we have never and these people like are that. jealous. Don't they couldn't do it. They turned out to be important. So, please, sir, be careful with the choice of words. As no, a law. How can you level a charge sir, and sir, you 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 a parliamentary word. Word. Sir, you, be you make all allegations, and how do you expect us not to refute that? So, I think we should be careful. What allegations? You have been found guilty in the 2G spectrum scam. Hey, Sir, what we are discussing? I think now we are moving away yes, from the issue. We can talk a lot the about you, Mr. Swami. In the, can, can you are the most corrupt party in the history you, of Tamil Nadu. You are to the discussion which we are about oh, discussing. Oh, yeah, about. exceeding your limits. You are not so you are, you are somebody in the right. We are right. Limit. But you are going you are are such such like this and that. You are a huge, you have been caught red-handed. A huge battle breaks out.
Who with Jayalalitha, one sec, with Jayalalitha writing a letter. You, you are anti dissident is seen by the people oh, no. of this country. Sub, sub, you, you, Mr. Naganathan, I'll give you just a minute. Your anti dissidents are in Andhra. Oh, no. I'll just give you one minute, but I'd say this, that Subramaniam Swami is now today in the middle of a big controversy. Jayalalitha writes a letter to the Prime Minister questioning what Subramaniam Swami did vis-a-vis the fish boats of fishermen when he went to meet Raja Pakse. She said he has no business to compromise there. He says I should be congratulated instead. Do you think Modi will back Subramaniam Swami or do you think Modi will side with Jayalalitha on this? That issue is still, uh, the jury is still out on that one. But yes, Mr. Naganathan, what was your point? Let's not start another battle. Let's make a quick point uh, because you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing personal, yeah. please. No, not only Jayalalitha, that, yeah, nothing personal. Not only Jayalalitha, even the Tamil Nadu BJP president has given a complaint to the BJP High Command regarding the Subramaniam Act. I want his response for that. You won't respond, your party is complaining against you. I don't know where my party is, uh, is doing anything against me. Nobody has spoken to me about it. If somebody writes something to somebody, it's, it's uh, unless it is brought to my notice, how can I take notice? And uh, oh, so what is in the papers? Thousands of things are in the papers. Even you got in a paper, Indian Express paper. Of course I did. That was co quoting your uh, fisherman. You are saying the fishermen are telling lies. I am I'm quoting, quoting the Tamil Nadu BJP president. Which is why you I said... You may quote, so no, no, no one has told me that... No one has told me that uh, the Tamil Nadu president has said anything. Which is Nobody why... in Delhi has said anything no, to me. Mis mis you mind your business. This is an internal party matter. You don't come into the picture. Um, you, uh, you all right, Subramaniam Swami, Mr. Naganathan and T. Shiva of the DMK. Let's see where this controversy goes. When a controversy involves Jayalalitha and Subramaniam Swami, you can be sure it's not going to end in a day. Thank you very much for joining me on debate number three on the news hour tonight.